Greetings, I'm Pillar Next Substantial Gladiator with more Pillar Loves Tabletop Games with the awesome classic board game that is Acquire. Uh, it has been reprinted a number of times in recent decades. There's also an older version that it's like a rare one where the tiles are made of wood instead of plastic. That would be that would be cool one to find. But anyway. Goal of the game is to end it with the most money. You will start with $6,000 and a handful of tiles that go on the board that allow you to create and grow your chain. So at the start of the game, each player will randomly get a tile to see which one goes first. Uh, lowest number, so one, goes first. If uh, multiples have lowest number, then it goes off of the first letter. Those tiles go to the go to the board and add some established potential to build off of. And let's see. There we go. Each player will then get a hand of six tiles that very helpfully stand up for this version. Um, I know one of the reprints had like a little tile holder because they, they went with the super thin cardboard tiles instead of the plastic, which made it a cheaper game, but still it's, it's more fun when you can have stuff that stands up like this. So yeah, each player will have their hand of six cards, or hand of six tiles, to have their little bit of inside information as to uh, where they can start chains or make chains grow. And have a plan in mind of what they ultimately want to uh, set up to make their big money-making plan happen. So this is the first player. What they'll do is take a tile from their hand and add it to the board. So let's let's see here. What can I try to uh, try to get going here. My options are kind of crappy. Let's just, let's throw out 4A for now. So, we didn't get the starter chain this turn. But that's, a, that's, you know, that's okay. We'll, there'll, there'll be a chance to start as more tiles get placed. So, um, at the end of the turn, you'll always draw a new tile. So let's say it comes back around, because everyone's, you know, say everyone gets around a place in a tile. It's got to be 60. So it might have a slow, go, slow start like this, or people might actually be able to pull off that. Once you have two tiles adjacent, you get to start a chain. You'll pick one of the seven um, festival is hiding out of line of sight because, but it's green. There we go. We'll start festival. So when you start a chain, it opens up the stocks to be purchased and the player who founds the chain gets a bonus stock for free. Um, after after placing tiles, if there are any open uh, chains, you can buy uh, up to three stocks of those chains in any combination. So these are the uh, more of the middle range of prices. So, 
at size two, each one of these stocks is going to cost three, three hundred dollars. So that's what I'll end up buying, and I'll get my hundred dollars and change, and I now have stock in festival. I'll get a new tile, and it'll be this person's turn. So when things get real interesting is when new chains get opened up. Uh, when there's multiple chains to choose from. So let's say we open up Imperial. Let's get the Imperial stock. Imperial, the Imperial is a little more expensive. So I want to buy... I'll just buy it. You know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and buy three in Imperial. I'm going to focus hard on my one chain. At 400 a piece, that leaves me 3,800 and change. You're actually supposed to start the game with smaller bills, but. Um, oh well. Now, if I wanted to, I could have uh, mixed up Imperial and Festival, but I wanted to push this advantage while, while I can. And, let's see, eventually, eventually someone is going to play a tile that, hopefully somebody plays a tile that will merge these together. Um, let's say they make this even bigger. And then they buy into Festival. As, as the chains get bigger, the stocks will cost more. So, if you're planning to grow a chain, you may want to hold off and uh, put a tile somewhere else. Like, let's say I wanted to save money on my plan. I want to do that because I know I want to play this later so, so I'll get festival for three and festival for a little bit cheaper and I want to focus I'll have a new and have a new tile and then um, they're just trying to figure things out on their end uh, what to do they're gonna open up a new chain Gonna go for the lower price tower hotels, which I think it's funny that the older edition um, tower would be the cheaper, considering uh, the last the the last one that actually stuck to the hotels actually made tower the more expensive line line of hotels. Thankfully, that's only 200 a piece to get three more. Yeah. Two, three, I'm wrecking everything. Get a new tile. I could set things up and like jump to the progress, but I kind of like showing how things kind of develop over the course of the game. Let's say, there we go. Let's say he wants to put that there. When he knows there's going to be some growth happening eventually, and wants to invest in Imperial before it grows. Or I could continue investing in Festival. But there's currently no one else going with Imperial, so might as well. Go a little bit imperial and maintain that that hold on festival. So there's four, eight, eleven hundred, eleven hundred, and that'll be out of that. That'll be thirty nine and change. Hmm. Take it easy. Four thousand. One, two, three, four. Uh, the classic paper money. Level one times. So, let's say, to see, 7A, uh, there we go, 
that on the factory thing. I'm thinking ahead on because he's holding this, or this player's holding this. They they know tower can become bigger if they want want it to be. But they also want to um, put you know figure out this this as well. So let's say it goes um, three in tower. Well, it's still reasonable price. There's uh, six hundred. There we go. Small change. All right. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> A player can place the tile to merge two chains. The bigger chain will eat the smaller chain. Um, in, in an instance where um, the chains are the same size, uh, the player placing the tile can decide uh, which one. So I'm going to have festival get eaten. Which is kind of, you know, which doesn't really help me all that much, but it's something. So we look at festival size of two. The player with the most stock, the majority, the first majority, gets the first bonus. And again, it's based off the size. Um, festival two is worth 3,000 to the majority. And fifteen hundred to the second. If there was a tie, um, the for first the bonuses would be combined and then split. If there's a tie for second, then the second would split the would, would split that. All right, so we got our bonuses. Now comes what do you do with the stocks? Starting with that player, they can. Uh, sell stock off for its value. So it's 300 apiece. Get my money back. Or you can trade um, and or trade two for one into the merging company. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I'll have my oop, not tower, Imperial stock. And I will sell the festival for 300. Now I could hold on to the stock of the chain that I got eaten, but as the game goes on, there'll be less chances to pull that off. In order to restart the chain, you'd have to be planning it very far. And then and then they get a chance to do something with their stocks. They're also gonna they're gonna put four festival to get two imperial. So and then sell that for three hundred. So perhaps doing that merger was not the wisest of ideas. But you know what? That's part of the game experience is unwise decisions. Um, eventually a chain will get to 11 tiles or more, in which case they're safe. A safe chain cannot be um, merged with another one, or merged with a bigger one. They can still eat up smaller ones, of course. Um, the game the game ends when um, all the chains on the board are safe. A player declares that. Or one chain gets to 41 or more tiles. So the game will end immediately. We'll go, we'll go through each of the remaining chains that people have stocks for. And go through the majority uh, first and second bonuses for each one. Then each player will sell off their, their remaining stocks in those companies. And then the player with the most money wins. Uh, I do not see a rule for a tiebreaker, but uh, at that, 
It's very, very rare to see a tie in this game. So why on earth did I do all this game? It's simple, it's quick, it's very hard to go backwards. Um, that's the only way to do that is to like um, hold on to your stock after like not getting the bonus after it's mer after it's acquired and and then having the game end on you uh, with that stock still in your hand. And you know it's the game has a definite endpoint. It, you can't stall for too long. The game's going to end one way or another. Because every turn, you have to play the tiles. And, yeah, it's it's an easy game for, for new players to get into. I once played this game with um, my aunt and uncle one time. And then uh, my that aunt and another aunt another time. And she won both times. And I was like... But, so there's, you know, some strategy and do I really want to spend money on three stocks right now? Or maybe I could just spend on one or two and keep an eye on the change in situation. I thought buying two stocks was kind of a weird strategy, but it worked for her. And she was able to kick our butts both times. But yeah, Acquire. It's it's a great game. Um, the designer, uh, Sid Saxon, if you can, uh, look up other some other works that he's done and um, other stuff really really big game designer um, there's a lot a lot to go through <laughs> um, a lot of um, unpublished prototypes as well I, I honestly want to learn, learn some more about him uh, one of these days but yeah acquire check it out it's a great game I recommend it uh, this has been Pillar Nexus. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.